Thomas and Friends, Heroes of Sodor. It was a cold fall day on the island of Sodor. Halloween has ended for the children. And winter was coming. All the leaves were no longer on the trees. Everyone was wearing hats, jackets, scarves, and gloves. And all the engines were busier than they'd ever been before. All the engines loved to please Sir Topham Hat. And they love doing their favorite jobs when they can. Gordon pulls the express. Percy loves delivering the mail. And Thomas loves working on his branch line. Thomas thinks the island of Sodor is the perfect place to be where he loves being with his friends, making Sir Topham Hat proud, and that everyone loves him. The island of Sodor is a wonderful place to live. It's a world around Thomas and a world around you. One day, Thomas popped into Nafford Station with Annie and Clarabelle, his coaches. Lady was at Nafford Station, waiting for Thomas. She and Thomas were to shunt trucks in the yard together. Hello, Lady. Hi, Thomas. Are you ready to shunt some trucks? I sure am, lady. I'll just drop off Annie and Clarabelle in their siding, and then we can get started on our shunting.
Thomas and Lady love working together. But then, Ari and Bert arrived. Hey, Bert! Look at Thomas and Lady, the stinky steamies. Those two stinky steamies sure are lovey-dovey, aren't they? Yeah, lovey-dovey, lovey-dovey. This made Thomas and Lady cross. They don't like working with diesel engines. And the diesel engines don't like working with the steamies. Because the diesels are oily and a lot more different than the steamies. It's not a steamies that are stinky, Ari and Bert. Yeah, it's the diesels. It's the diesels that are stinky. I thought we diesels are dirty. That too. Oh. Why don't you just get lost, Ari and Bert, or else we'll tell Sir Topham Hat. Yeah. Ari and Bert laughed. <laughs> What's Sir Topham Hack gonna do for you guys? Stick up for Thomas and Lady, came a stern voice. There was Sir Topham Hat. He saw the whole thing and heard what Ari and Bert said. Ari and Bert, you leave Thomas and Lady alone. I stop calling Steamy Stinky. Ah, uh, yes, sir, yes, sir. Ari and Bert spluttered. They got caught by Sir Topham Hatt. Now both of you, you're needed at the quarry with Mavis. Now get a move on. Or it's stay at the Diesel Works for a week for you. Uh, yes sir, yes sir. Uh, sorry Thomas, uh, sorry lady. Uh, we'll go now, bye. And Ari and Bert oiled away. Thomas and Lady were relief. Oh, those diesels! How dare they treat you and the others, Thomas? Don't worry about it, Annie and Clarabelle. Sir Topham Hat took care of it. Thanks, sir. You're welcome, Lady and Thomas. You can always tell me when the diesels say something that makes you worry. And don't worry, I can deal with them. Thank you, sir. Now me and Lady better get started on the shunting. Yes, and I better get back to work in my office. Just then, the station master walked out. Excuse me, sir. You're wanted on the telephone. Oh, bother that telephone. I'm coming. Good day, Thomas and Lady. Uh, good day, sir. Thomas and Lady wondered why Sir Topham Hat wanted, was wanted on the phone. They were a bit curious. Who do you think's on the phone who wanted to talk to Sir Tom Hat, lady? Hmm, I don't know, Thomas. But we better get started on our shunting. Good idea. Come on, let's drop off Annie and Clarabelle, and then we can shunt those trucks. Let's go, lady. Meanwhile, Sir Totten Hat answered the phone. Hello? Oh, I see. Oh, dear. Yes, I understand. Yes? 
And when do you want me to come? When are you expecting me? Whoa. Oh dear. All right. Thanks for telling me. I'll be over first thing tomorrow. Yes. Goodbye. After they dropped off Annie and Clarabelle, Thomas and Lady went to do their shunting job together. Thomas and Lady really love working together because when they work together, they're busy, busy, busy. Soon, Thomas and Lady finished their shunting jobs until there were no more trucks to shunt. Soon it was time to go home for the night. Thomas and Lady couldn't wait to go back to Tidmouth Sheds and talk to their friends about the day's adventures. But just then, Toby arrived in the yard with Henrietta. Toby had an important message. Hey Toby, what's up? Sir Topham Hatt wants all of us at Tidmouth Sheds for an important meeting. Important meeting? Yes. 
Well, if Sir Totten Hat has something to say, we better be there. Come on, you two. Or three. Sorry, Henrietta. That's okay, Thomas. Come on, guys. Let's go to Tidmouth Sheds. Soon, Thomas, Lady, Toby, and Henrietta arrived at Tidmouth Sheds. The other engines were waiting there. Hey everyone, what's going on? We don't know, Thomas. Sir Topham Hatch just called us to Tidmouth Sheds. He said he got an important phone call from the mainland. He said he'll tell us once he gets here. Typical Sir Topham Hack calling us for a meeting. Oh, Gordon. And as Toby predicted, Sir Topham Hat arrived. Now listen up, everyone. Make sure you're listening. Now, I just got a phone call from the mainland. Something about the banker wanting to talk to me about important business. So, tomorrow I will be leaving for the mainland, and be back after the weekend. The engines were hushed. They knew this was important business for Sir Topham Hatt. But, uh, uh, sir, who will take over the railway once you're gone? I mean, not really take over, but be in charge. While you're gone, that I should really say. I'm glad you asked me that, Edward. The engine who will be in charge will be Thomas. Thomas gasped. But the other engines were happy. Even Gordon. You, you, you want me to be in charge, sir? Yes, Thomas. I'd like you to be in charge of the railway. Besides working on your branch line. I'd like you to give the engines their jobs while I'm away. I'm leaving you in charge, Thomas. Thomas wasn't so sure. Um, are you sure I'm the right engine to be in charge, sir? Yes, Thomas. I'm leaving you in charge. Why, you remember being in charge of the restoration of the Great Waterton, do you? Um, yes, sir, but... But... Thomas didn't know what to say. He couldn't say no to Sir Topham Hatt, but because he knew that really useful engines have to do their... as they're told. Okay, sir. I'll... Be in charge, if that's what you want. Thomas knew Sir Topham Hatt has spoken and has made up his mind. He's in charge. Thank you, Thomas. Now, I will be leaving from the docks to the mainland tomorrow, so I will all inspect you all down at the docks tomorrow. At 6 a.m. sharp. Good night, everybody. Good night, sir. Good night. Good night, sir. Good night, sir. Thomas was having some thoughts to himself. He was starting to think that he didn't want to be in charge. 
he did remember the time he was in charge of the restoration of Great Waterton. That was before Stanley arrived on the island. But Thomas wasn't sure if he wanted to be in charge, if the engines or his friends wanted him to. <laughs> Thomas and his friends didn't know that Devious Diesel had overheard the whole thing, and he went to tell Ari and Bert and another friend of his. Hey, Ari and Bert, have you heard the news? Sir Topham Hatt has important business on the mainland, and he left Thomas in charge. Ari and Bert couldn't believe what they heard. Ari and... Did you just hear what Diesel said? Yes, Bert, I did. Thomas being in charge while Sir Topham Hatt's gone. Why couldn't he let us Diesels be in charge? Ugh. Sir Topham Hatt always trusts steamy than Diesels. I mean, just today, he sticked up to Thomas and Lady in front of us when we were calling them stinky. What? I thought we diesels were dirty. That's what I asked Thomas. And he said we were stinky and dirty. Ow. Diesel was cross at the m bad remark. Well, you know what this means. We should tell Diesel 10? Yep. I heard everything, came a loud voice. <laughs> Just then, a shape slid from the shadows of the back shed of the diesel works. It was Diesel 10. He had overheard what Diesel said. <laughs> Let me get this right, Diesel. Sir Topham Hatt is needed on important business on the mainland, and he's leaving Thomas, that silly steamy, in charge. <laughs> yes, Diesel 10, but what I've heard, Thomas doesn't think he wants to be in charge. So, I have a feeling he's going to talk to his friends about it and put them in charge instead. Diesel 10 cackled. He had a very devious plan. <laughs> That's good! While Sir Topham Hatt's away on the mainland, the Diesels will play here. And there's nothing Thomas can do about it. Diesel, Ari, and Bert were confused. They didn't know what, Sir, what Diesel 10 was talking about. Listen, my fellow Diesel engines. Think about how badly we've been treated. I mean, we get caught calling engines names. We get in trouble for causing accidents. And we don't get our own holiday decorations. <laughs> Diesel, Ari, and Bert, we are going to do something very special. We're going to take over the Island of Soda! <laughs> Diesel, Ari, and Bert thought that was a great idea, but it wasn't. When Sir Topham Hatt is away, the Diesels and Diesel 10 will play. And I'll finally get my revenge on Thomas 
and those silly steamies. They've done a lot of bad stuff to me in the past. They made me fall off a bridge. They threatened me with a bag of sugar. Thomas took back Percy and Kevin when we took over the Steamworks. And he and the other silly Steamies wouldn't let us have our own Christmas decorations. And our own Earth Day decorations. Which happened back in April this year. But Earth Day was quiet! Don't interrupt me, Arian Burt! Sorry, these old ten. Thank you. Now, who's with me? Diesel, Ari, and Bert thought about what Diesel 10 said. About being treated badly, getting trouble by Sir Topham Hat, and being punished for causing accidents. So, they went along with his plan. As Diesel 10's minions. You better watch out, Thomas, because here we come. And Diesel 10 slid back into the shadows and started to cackle. I'll get you, silly steamies, if it's the last thing I do. I'll get you, Thomas. I'm coming for you and Lady and all those other silly steamies. But just then, Diesel, Ari, and Bert had a thought. Uh, but Diesel 10, what if Thomas needs help stopping us? He, his friends might help him. Yeah, we'll be outnumbered. I mean, there's nine of them, eight of them, count Lady, and four of us. Then we'll just have to take away Thomas's friends, Cole and Water. And I know that Mavis, Salty, Dennis, Den, Dart, and Paxton won't help us. So we'll take away their oil and put them along with the other Steam Team members. And once Thomas and Lady try to stop them, we'll turn them into... Heap of scrap. And useless scrap. <laughs> yes. Early the next morning, at 6 a.m., Thomas and his friends came to Brendam Docks to say goodbye to Sir Topham Hatt. Now remember, Engines, I will be back after the weekend. In the meantime, I'd like all of you to carry on with your work and remind you that Thomas is in charge. So Gordon, James, Henry... I want you to respect Thomas while you're gone. Yes, sir. We will, sir. We promise, sir. We'll give Thomas as much as respect as he wants. Since he's in charge. We know he's been in charge before. Too true, Henry. Too true. Then Sir Totten Hat saw that Thomas was looking down at the track. Are you alright, Thomas? Yes, sir. It's just... I just don't feel comfortable being in charge. In fact, I don't think I want to be in charge. I don't want to tell the engines to do their jobs in a bossy way, like saying, you do this and you do that. I'm not the controller, sir. You are. And I can't be in charge and run my branch line at the same time. Who says you can't? Run your branch line being charred at the same time, Thomas. Of course you can run your branch line. I can? Yes. 
Well, I know really useful engines do as they're told and don't argue, sir, so... I promise I won't let you down. Thank you, Thomas. Are you feeling okay now? Yes, sir, but... I think I'll have a talk with my friends before we start our work. Okay, Thomas. That's fine with me. Mm. Oh, I better not keep the boat to the mainland waiting. Goodbye, engines. Goodbye, Thomas. I'll be back in two days. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye, sir. Bye, sir. Goodbye, sir. Then the boat hooted loud and long. And sailed to sea. With Sir Topham Hat on it. Towards the mainland. Thomas and his friends watched the boat sail away. Thomas knew he shouldn't let Sir Topham Hack down. So, he decided to talk with his friends. Everyone, can I please talk to you back at the sheds? Of course you can, Thomas. Soon, all the engines were at Tidmouth Sheds. As Thomas asked him to be, Gordon was concerned. What's the matter, Thomas? It's not like you to talk to us at the sheds. I thought you'd be happy being charged whilst the top and hats away. You've been in charge of the Great Waterton Restoration, remember? Gordon... What's wrong, Thomas? Go ahead and tell us. We'll understand. Thomas took a deep breath and sighed. <sighs> Look, everyone. I am happy to be in charge, but... I don't think it's fair. And I don't think I want to be in charge. I think one of you guys should be in charge, too. I'm afraid Sir Totten Hat has made up his mind, Thomas. And we don't mind you being in charge. Yeah, normally... James and I would say we'd be in charge, but Sir Totten Hat has made up his mind. You can be in charge, Thomas. We don't mind. Yeah, Thomas. You could... You stay in charge. Yeah, Thomas. Stay in charge. Come on, Thomas. We don't mind. We don't care if you boss us around. Come on, Thomas. Guys, guys, guys. Really? No! I'm not the controller of the railway, and neither are you. Sir Topham Hat is. Fine. If you go, if you all want me to be in charge and boss you around, then be it. Now there's a train that needs to be taken to the mainland. Now, I'm going to take it. Anyone wants to help me is welcome. Come on, Gordon. Thomas backed up, but then he looked at Gordon. He wasn't following him. Gordon? Gordon first looked at the tracks, then the other engines. Then he puffed forward. Sir Topham Hat has made up his mind, Thomas. What? He left you in charge, and I have the express to pull. What's important now is that you stay in charge, Thomas. Gordon! I wasn't the first engine to come to Sodor, and we wouldn't be the steam team if it weren't for Sir Topham Hat. Who came to Sodor first, Gordon? 
Or what I should be asking, who was the first engine to come to Sodor, Gordon? Answer my question. You too, Edward, James, and Henry. You know the answer. Well, Edward can't be in charge because he's too old, and I can't be in charge because I worry too much, and James raced against Diesel once, and that's why none of us can't be in charge, Thomas. And Gordon is too important to be in charge. Sir Tom Hat probably chose you because he's you're his favorite. Sir Tom Hat doesn't have a favorite engine, Henry. Everyone on Sordor have a, has a favorite place and engine. And you, Gordon, James, and Edward and Emily are older than me. Than me and Lady Toby and Percy. I think a big engine should be in charge. Thomas, listen to me. It's too late. Sir Tom had his man of his mind. You're in charge. Edward. Edward's yelling had made Thomas very cross. Okay, fine. Perfect. I can't believe how, how selfish you're all being. The engines all hushed. None of them said another word. They were being selfish. So this is it? After all we've been through together throughout the years. All the times you sometimes get mad at me. All the accidents we've had. And do I have to remind you the time you all got mad at me because I shined a too many truck for Stanley and caused the Tower of Great Waterton to tumble down? So this is it. After all we've been through together throughout the years. Thomas, I'm sorry for yelling at you. Save it, Edward. I'm going to take the train to the mainland. If you all want me to be in charge, then fine. I'll be in charge. Lady, come on. We're both taking that goods train to the mainland. But Thomas, lady, I said come on! Lady felt hurt from Thomas yelling at her. Thomas popped up slowly to her. Look, lady. I love you, lady. I love all my friends. But they're being selfish, and I don't want you to be either, okay? So come. None of the engines spoke. Guys, you get to your jobs. Me and Lady gotta go. Come on, Lady. Don't worry, guys. I'll have a talk to Thomas on the way back. And all the engines left to do their jobs, still feeling hurt after being yelled at by their friend. But what no the engines didn't know that Diesel 10 and the Diesels had been spying on them and watched the whole thing. Ha 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 ha. Time to put our plan into action, Diesels. While Sir Topham Hat and Thomas are away, Diesel 10 and the Diesels 
We'll play. Yeah, you said it, boss. Yeah. The island of Sodor will be ours now. <laughs> yes. Now here's the plan. Already and Bert and Diesel, you're going to... Later at the shunting yards, Thomas and Lady were coupled up to the goods train, ready to take it to the mainland. Where is this, t exactly, where is this supposed to be taken on the mainland, Thomas? Not a steelworks, I hope. Don't worry, Emily, it's not a steelworks. It's a shunting yard on the mainland. And Sir Tottenham Hat will be there. So we'll probably see him. Just then. <laughs> Emily puffed up beside Thomas and Lady. Thomas, are you feeling okay? Thomas didn't want to talk to Emily. Not now, Emily. I have to deliver this goods train. I mean, we have to deliver this goods train. Thomas, no lady, we don't have time to chat with Emily. Not after how selfish she and the others were being. Thomas, we weren't being selfish, we want you to be in charge, but... Tell me when I get back, I mean when we get back, Emily. But Thomas, lady, let's go. Sorry, Emily. I'll try to talk to Thomas like I said on the way back. And Thomas and Lady puffed away to the mainland. Oh, Thomas, if only you can just listen. Then Thomas stopped for a minute. Just remember, Emily. As long as I'm around, no one messes with my friends or with the number one engine of Sodor. And if you want protection, ask Gordon. He's a stronger engine. A stronger engine stands up for others. An even stronger engine stands up for himself. Uh, Thomas, it's a strong engine stands up for others, and a stronger engine stands up. Ah, lady, lady. I don't want to hear it. Now, come on. I'll try to talk to Thomas on the way back, Emily. We'll be back. Okay, lady. You better go and do your jobs now, Emily. Okay. And Emily puffed off. While Thomas and Lady were taking a good train to the mainland, the engines carried on with their usual jobs. Ugh, trucks! Out on the line, Emily was taking some passengers to Bluff's Cove. She was thinking about what to say to Thomas and Lady when they come back. Emily puffed across the Fenland Bridge. But while Emily was puffing, she heard some creaking sounds. Creak! Bubbling boilers! What's that?
the Fenland Bridge is making some weird noises. It must not be safe. I better tell Thomas and the others. Well, I better tell the others first because Thomas won't be back in a little while. So Emily puffed off to tell everyone that the bridge wasn't safe. Later, the engines called a meeting at Nafford. Listen guys, the Fenland Bridge isn't safe. We mustn't use it. Good job telling us, Emily, but that's not the reason why we called the meeting. Gordon? Yes. I've called this meeting to discuss about Thomas. He didn't want to be in charge, but he told Sir Tom Hatt that he would wouldn't let him down. I feel bad too. So do I. I've never seen Thomas so upset before. I mean, this is worse than the time Spencer accused him for causing an accident on the movie not too long ago. Agreed, Henry. I think we should all talk to Thomas when he gets back. Well, Thomas was upset of not about being in charge because he thinks when we're in trouble, he's going to come and stick up for us. But a Lady told him that a stronger, that, not a stronger, a strong engine sticks up for himself. A stronger engine stands up for others. Hmm. When Thomas gets back, we should definitely talk to him about that. Lady said he'll talk to him on the way back, so we've got nothing to worry about. Just then, the engines heard a purring sound. A purring sound, as in a diesel engine. Hmm. I hear a diesel purring. It's probably just Dodge or Salty or Mavis Percy or Dead and Dart. Or Paxton or Dennis. But it wasn't. Then came a horn that the engines knew very well. Then, who would roll up beside Henry and Gordon? Be none other than Diesel 10. Tss. Hello, silly steamers. Diesel 10! What do you want, Diesel 10? Oh, I just want to let you know that I'll be taking over Sodor! With help from Diesel, Ari, and Bert! <gasps> Henry shook with surprise. Y you c c c can't d d do that? Yes, I can. And I can't. Hey, leave Henry alone, says you, Garden. Diesel, Harry, and Bert, get these silly steamies. And out of nowhere came Diesel, Harry, and Bert. Ha ha ha. What are you going to do, engines? You silly steamies. Sir Tottenham Hat's not here. Who's gonna save you now? <laughs> Thomas will save us, Diesel 10. And so will Lady. What makes you think Thomas will save you? After he yelled at you. And he, you were all selfish on him. Silly steamies. Silly steamies. <laughs> and Diesel 10 and the Diesels hurled the steam team away. Meanwhile,
Thomason lady had delivered the goods train to the mainland shunting yards and were just heading back to Sodor. But it wasn't long till Thomas started to feel sorry about yelling at his friends. Lady thought it would be time to talk to Thomas. Thomas, can we please talk? Sure, lady. I was just going to ask you the same thing. Thomas, I don't think it was right to yell at your friends. And they weren't being selfish. They were just being nice. They wanted you to be in charge, including Gordon, James, and Henry. Thomas thought about this. Well, I still blame them for being selfish, Tom, lady. I mean, if the Diesels come to bully one of them, who's going to stick up for them? Not me, because you're, like you said, a strong engine stands up for himself, and a stronger engine stands up for others. I'm no strong engine, and... I'm no leader of the track. I always wanted to be, but we're all leaders of the track. Lady sighed. Whatever you say, lady, I bet Edward gets everyone together better than I do. Thomas, listen to me. Otis, the best leader isn't the biggest or the strongest. The best leader is the one who cares the most. Yeah, that's very nice of you, lady, but... <sighs> Fine, you're right. Maybe I did overreact and I think I should apologize to my friends for yelling at them. Maybe they weren't being selfish. And a promise is a promise and I promised her Tottenham Hat that I wouldn't let him down. That's the spirit, Thomas. Now, come on. When we get home, you can apologize to everyone. Okay, lady. But when Thomas and Lady got back to Sodor, they were very surprised to see no engines puffing around. Bust my buffers. Usually Gordon would puff past with the Express. And this is where I always see Paxton passing by with his goods trains. Thomas and Lady puffed into Nafford Station. They were surprised to see it was very quiet. Where is everyone? Hmm. I don't see Henry, Percy, Edward, Toby, James, Emily. I don't see anyone. Thomas and Lady were about to grow suspicious. Then, they started to hear a purring sound. Huh, what's that purring sound? Then, the sound got louder. That purring kind of sounds like a diesel engine. Hmm. It's probably just Den and Dart. Den, Dart, is that you? But Den and Dart were nowhere to be seen. Bother. Salty, Dodge, Dennis, Mavis, can't be Paxton. Whoever that purring is, stop! Then, Thomas and Lady heard a horn they recognize. And they heard a sound they never forget. <laughs> the clang of metal. They knew who it could be. Diesel 10! And it was Diesel 10. He rolled up beside Thomas. Hello, Thomas and lady. Long time no see. <laughs> Wondering where all your friends are, are you, Thomas and lady? Do you have anything to do with this? Diesel 10? 
Hmm. Yes, I have, actually. Along with help from Ari, Bert, and Diesel. Diesel, Ari, and Bert are helping you? Yes. We saw what you did to your friends and what they did to you. How selfish they were to you. But that's just your opinion, I guess. What are you up to, Diesel 10? Oh, I'll tell you what I'm up to, Thomas. Me, Diesel, Ari, and Bert are taking over the island of Sodor. All your friends are captured, and you and Lady are next. You captured our friends, Diesel 10? That is so unacceptable. When Sir Topham Hat gets back, we're going to tell him. Oh, well, that's just the problem. Sir Topham Hat's on the mainland, and you are in charge, Thomas. Now, we can do this the easy way, or the hard way. We won't let you take over the island of Sodor, Diesel 10. Then who, and who's gonna stop me? We are! You silly steamies! Ha! <laughs> you won't once you're captured. ha 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 ha! Diesel 10 raised his claw. Thomas and Lady looked at Diesel 10's claw. Then they looked at each other. Lady, run! And Thomas and Lady puffed out of the station as fast as they could. Get back here, you silly steamies! And Diesel 10 revved after them. Mm. Get back here, you silly steamies! Thomas and Lady huffed and puffed their hardest to get away from Diesel 10. Diesel 10 revved and roared. Right behind them. You won't get away from me. <laughs> ah! Get away from me! Faster, lady, faster! Thomas, Lady, and Diesel 10 charged up Gordon's Hill. Stay away from me, Diesel 10! Get back! Ah! No matter how fast Diesel 10 went, he couldn't catch up to Thomas and Lady. When the signalman saw that Diesel 10 was chasing Thomas and Lady, he knew just what to do. He switched Thomas and Lady onto the straight track. Ching! And Diesel 10 onto the... To the left track. Thomas and Lady got away from Diesel 10. Diesel 10 was so cross, he crashed his claw. <laughs> I'll get you, Thomas and Lady. The island of Sodor is mine, and I'm taking it over. And you can't stop me! Oh, yes we can, Diesel 10! And Thomas and Lady puffed away out of sight. And Diesel 10 oiled away to meet up with Diesel, Ari, and Bert. Thomas and Lady screeched to a stop at Marin Station. Whew. That was close, Lady. Too close. Thomas, do you think it's true what Diesel 10 said? He, Diesel, Ari, and Bert are taking over the island? I think so, lady. And this is why I didn't want to be...
put in charge. Because something like this could happen. Now, what are we going to do, lady? Our friends are captured in the yard. Diesel, Ari, and Bert, and Diesel 10 are taking over Sodor. <sighs> what can we do? Thomas, listen. You're the number one engine. You're everyone's favorite number one engine. You can figure out something. You can save the island of Sodor. You can save your friends. And I'm going to help you. I mean, did you give up when Sailor John tried to take the treasure of Captain Callus? No, I didn't give up. And did you give up when Gordon forgot his safety valve when he was in the Great Railway Show and you jumped the Vickerstown Bridge to take it to him? No, I didn't. You're right, lady. I can save the island of Sodor. And there's something that Diesel 10 forgot. Steamies and Diesels may be different, but we try to do things better in our own way. Now let's go to Nafford Station. Diesel 10 that said he put our friends in the yard. So I'm guessing they're there. Come on, lady, let's go. Right behind you, Thomas. Thomas was right. Steamers and diesels may be different, but they all have just one goal, which is try to do things better. Thomas and Lady puffed into Nafford Yards. 
They both gasped. <gasps> Cinders and ashes! Thomas and Lady were surprised to see that their friends and the diesel engines were in the yard. Guys, look! It's Thomas and Lady! The engines were happy to see Thomas and Lady. Thomas popped up to Gordon. Gordon, what happened? What are you all doing in the yard? Gordon grumped. Hmm. Now you want to talk to us after yelling at us? Gordon, listen, I'm sorry for yelling at you. I'm sorry for all of you for yelling at you. You're all my friends, and I know you weren't being selfish. Please, can you all forgive me? Of course we forgive you, Thomas. Yeah, we forgive you, Thomas. We knew you didn't feel comfortable with being in charge. We all forgive you. Yes, we all do. Thomas was happy his friends forgave him. But Gordon, please answer my question. What happened? Well, while you and Lady were gone, Diesel 10 showed up while we were having a meeting, and he, Diesel, Aurie, and Bert shunting us in the yard. Then why are the Diesels here? Thomas was surprised to see Den, Dart, Paxton, Dennis, Dodge, Salty, and Mavis in the yard as well. Well, since Diesel, Aurie, and Bert convinced themselves to help Diesel 10, Den, Dart, Paxton, Dennis, Salty, and Mavis refuse. No matter how many times Diesel 10 tried to convince them. Yeah! What he means is Diesel 10 tried to convince us to help. But we refused to help Diesel 10, Thomas. So he asked Diesel, Aurie, and Bert to shunt us in the yard, along with the steam team friends. And not only did they take away your friends' oil, water, and coal, Thomas. Yar! They took away our oil! We diesels need oil to run, and we steamies need coal and water. Thomas, you and Lady are the only engines with coal and water, and Diesel 10 is out looking for you. We know, Edward. He almost caught us, but luckily we escaped thanks to the signalmen. Thomas, it's up to you and Lady to save us. And the island of Sodor. You have to stop Diesel 10. You're our only hope. But, Edward, what can I do? How can I help save Sodor and all of you? You've got me, Thomas. Yes, Thomas, you've got Lady. She can help you. You and her are our only hope, like Edward said. It's up to you to save us. Thomas thought about this. Then he took a deep breath and sighed. <sighs> well, I did tell Diesel 10 that we would stop him. Okay, then. I will save the island. With Lady's help, of course. And all the engines smiled. Suddenly, they heard diesel purring in the distance. Uh-oh. Diesel 10 told Ari and Bert to check on us in a little bit. That must be them coming. You better get out of here, Thomas and Lady, before they capture you. You're right, Henry. Come on, Lady, let's go. We'll come and check on you in a little bit. Later, guys. Then, Emily remembered something. 
Oh, Thomas, lady, wait! Thomas and lady stopped. What is it, Emily? When I was crossing the Fenland Bridge earlier, it was making some creaking noises. So be careful. It could be dangerous. Thanks for the warning, Emily. We'll be careful. Now we better go before Ari and Bert sees us. Come on, lady. The other engines watched Thomas and lady puff away. Then they all cheered. Be a really useful engine, Thomas! And Thomas and Lady puffed quickly away onto the main line. Thomas and Lady hurry down the track, puffing and puffing. Their pistons pump and their boilers bubble. Their fireboxes fizzed and burned. Well done, Lady! Well done, Thomas! Woohoo! Then there was trouble. Diesel 10 snuck onto the track behind Thomas and Lady. I found you, Lady and Thomas. <gasps> Diesel 10! Thomas's wheels spun like the wind! And so did Lady's! You two won't get away from me this time! <laughs> You bet we will get away from you, Diesel 10. Yeah, you, Diesel, Ari, and Bert won't get away with this, Diesel 10. We're going to stop you and take the island back. Taking it is not right. We thought you learned your lesson after you took over the steamworks. Well, I have it. And I will get away with it. I've been getting away with it a few times. And you tried lots of things to stop me. You tried an old tramp steamer. You threatened me with a bag of sugar. You made me fall off a bridge. You took back Kevin Percy. And you wouldn't let me and the other diesels have our own Christmas decorations and our own Earth Day decorations. This time you won't stop me. Yes, we will. Thomas and Lady huffed and shuffed as hard as they could to get away from Diesel 10. But Diesel 10 was a powerful and stronger engine than them. Thomas and Lady huffed their hardest, but Diesel 10 wasn't far behind. He clanked his claw. <laughs> then Thomas had an idea. We're coming up to a junction, Lady. If we whistle to the signalman, he'll switch us onto a track and Set Diesel 10 onto another, just like the last signalman did. Great idea, Thomas. Ah, what was that thing I used to say back then? Oh, yeah, pretty fast for a couple puffballs. And yes, I have to say puffballs because this is a kid's movie. We're not allowed to say swear words. The junction loomed ahead. All right, lady. On my mark, blow your whistle to the signalman. On it, Thomas. And with one big puff, Thomas and lady whistle to the signalman. And just like that, the signalman changed the points. 
He switched Thomas and Lady onto an old track. And Diesel 10 onto the main line. Diesel 10 went straight ahead. Past Thomas and Lady. Diesel 10 was cross. Ah! I will capture you, Thomas and Lady. I'm going to send Diesel, Ari, and Bert to patrol this track. In, in fact, I'm going to have the, them patrol all the tracks. And you will be captured. And Diesel 10 oiled away. Thomas and Lady had escaped. But the track they were on were full of leaves. In the fall, when leaves fall onto the tracks, it makes them slippery. And Thomas and Lady's wheels slid on the leaves. Whoa! Uh, Lady, I think we should slow down. Good idea, Thomas. We don't want to have an accident. Lady slammed on her brakes and managed to stop. But Thomas didn't. Thomas, stop. I'm trying to, Lady. I'm trying. Thomas applied his brakes and tried to stop. But then there was trouble. His wheels slid on the slippery leaves. He couldn't stop. Oh no. Thomas, look out. Thomas was in danger! Big danger! Oh, help! 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 Lady! Help! Lady saw that Thomas was in trouble. He knew any minute her boyfriend could fall. And Thomas couldn't back up. His wheels kept slipping. Lady didn't know what to do. She thought for a second. Then she knew what to do. She made a decision. Lady knew she had to save Thomas, so she pumped her pistons. I'm coming, Thomas! Help! Thomas! Calm down. Don't worry. I'll pull you back to safety. I will save you. What? Lady's driver hooked Lady up to Thomas. Trust me, Thomas. I can do this. I can save you. I'm your girlfriend. Oh, oh, cinders and ashes. Oh. Lady struggled and strained. But Thomas kept slipping. But she wouldn't give up. I've got you! Hold on tight, Thomas! <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you, lady. Lady felt strong. Stronger than she'd ever been. And with one mighty heave, she pulled Thomas to safety and back onto the track. Thomas was saved. Lady was tired. Her cheeks were as red as James, even redder than Salty, even redder than Birdie the Bus. She was happy her boyfriend was safe. Thank you, lady. It's okay, Thomas. Everything is okay. You're safe now. Oh. Thomas was relieved. Oh. Oh. Thank you, lady. Thomas? What's wrong? I almost fell off that cliff, lady. If it wasn't for you, I could have fallen. Everyone is relying on me to save them and the island and to stop Diesel 10. I can't be a hero if I'm having accidents. Lady sighed. Thomas, being a hero is about helping everyone, not just yourself. And it means being part of a team, like the STEAM team. Thomas knew Lady was right. And we can both stop Diesel 10 and the Diesels. They won't get away with this. Plus, remember what your friends Mike, Rex, and Bert told you? Never overlook a little engine. Thomas did remember what his friends Mike, Rex, and Bert told him. Never overlook a little engine. And he always said that little engines can do big things. Especially if those engines have nice blue paint, like him, for example. You're right, lady. I promised everyone that I'd save them and the island. We both did. 
And I'm not going to let Diesel 10 stop us. After what he and the Diesels did a long time ago when they took over the Steamworks. Back when Bell and Flynn came to Sodor. Thomas turned stern. Lady, let's go get our island back. But let's be careful. Diesel 10 said he'll send Diesel, Ari, and Bert to patrol the tracks. And he'll probably ask them to look for us. And remember, we're the only engines with coal and water. Now let's go. I'm right behind you, Thomas. Thomas and Lady knew they can't never, never, never give up. They have to show determination. Let's show to some determination, Lady. Let's never, never, never give up. And Thomas and Lady backed up off the old track.
Knafford Station, Diesel 10 and the other Diesels were having a discussion of sorts. Now listen, Diesel, Harry, and Bert. Thomas and Lady aren't captured, but we must capture them. So I'd like all three of you to patrol the tracks. And if you see them, catch them. <coughs> Radio, boss. Yes, boss. You won't get away with this Diesel 10. You're not going to get away with this Diesel 10. Thomas and Lady will save the island, and he will stop you with Lady's help. You give us diesel engines a very bad name, Diesel 10, and so do you, Diesel, Ari, and Bert. Diesel 10 crashes claw. <coughs> Quiet! And Dodge and Emily went quiet. Now I don't want to hear another word from you silly steamies and you other diesels who refuse to help. Diesel, Ari and Bert, go find Thomas and Lady and bring them to me. Now! Yes, boss. <laughs> <laughs> I'll soon have you captured, Thomas and Lady. All the other engines were worried. This is going to be a very long movie. I hope Thomas and Lady are okay. Meanwhile, Thomas and Lady made their way to Brendam Docks. The docks were quiet without Salty around. And so much crates were stocked up at the docks. We have to be careful, lady. We never know. Which Diesel will find us? It could be Diesel 10, Aryan Bert, or Diesel. Just then, a horn sounded in the distance. It was a horn Thomas and Lady recognized. Uh-oh. And up ahead... Thomas and Lady can see Diesel rumbling towards them. Uh-oh, Lady. Diesel's coming. He'll see us. What do we do, Thomas? Then Thomas had an idea. Lady, I have an idea. Do what I say and make as much steam as you can. What? Trust me, it will work. I've done it before. Okay, so Lady did what Thomas told her. And she and Thomas wished lots of steam. It billowed from their boilers and filled the whole docks. And Diesel didn't see them. And he trumbled away, back down the tracks. Phew, bust my buffers that was close. Great thinking, Thomas. Wishing steam saved us. Ah, <sighs> Diesel didn't see us, and that's a good thing. But then there was trouble. We found you, Thomas and Lady. There's no escaping from us. Ari and Bert came up behind Thomas and Lady. Thomas and Lady weren't safe yet. 
Uh-oh. Lady, run! You won't get away from us. After them, Bert. Right behind you, Harry. Mm. Mm. Come on, lady, remember, I've told you before, little engines can do big things. <laughs> Thomas and lady clickety-clack along the track, with Ari and Bert rumbling behind them. Up ahead, Thomas can see the junction towards the quarry. Thomas made another decision. Lady, this time... I will whistle to the signalman. Just me. We'll lose Ari and Bert if we go towards the quarry. And if they take the other track. Okay, Thomas. Faster, Bert. I'm going as fast as I can. Thomas whistled as loud as he could. The signalman heard him and changed the points just in time. Thomas and Lady race towards the quarry while Ari and Bert disappeared along the other track. Ah, we'll get you, Thomas and Lady. We'll be back. Thomas and Lady screech to a stop at the quarry. Ah. Oh, that was close. Too close this time. We escaped from Ari and Bert, Diesel, and Diesel 10. But not for long, Lady. They will be back. Then, Lady realized something. Thomas, we're the only engines left with coal and water. We can't just keep wishing steam if we see a diesel. We'll waste all our coal and water. And then Diesel 10 and the diesels will definitely capture her us and turn us into heap of scrap or useless scrap diesel 10 likes to call it thomas knew lady was right you're right lady we'll try our best to duck and hide if we see another diesel then thomas noticed something there on the other siding on one of the sidings of the quarry were some coal trucks and some diesel fuel cars. Then Thomas remembered what Dodge said earlier. Not only did they take your friend's coal and water away, Thomas, they also took away our diesel fuel we run on. Bust my buffers, lady. That's the coal and water I mean, the coal and diesel fuel that the diesels took away from our friends. Lady looked at the freight cars. Then the fuel cars. You're right, Thomas. Diesel 10 must have taken the coal from the steamies and took it here to the quarry to hide it. Diesel 10 didn't do a good job hiding it. 
Well, he probably asked Ari and Bert or Diesel to hide it. That could be true. Ugh, if only the other engines were here, we found the coal. But we can't take it to them. Yeah, and we can't take the oil to the diesels either. If we go back out on the main line, Thomas, the diesels will catch us. For sure. What are we going to do? I'm everyone's favorite number one engine lady. I know we can't give up. That's the spirit, Thomas. Well, the best thing we can do right now is rest. Rest? Yes, my wheels are tired. They ache so much from puffing around, being chased by diesels. Yeah, mine too. Well, we might as well rest in this siding. Our drivers and firemen can have a nap in our cabs. Thomas and Lady's wheels were tired. They couldn't go any further. So, Thomas puffed forward and touched the buffers. And Lady rolled forward, and she touched Thomas's buffers. Let's rest here, and then go check on the other engines in a little while. Okay, Thomas. And if the diesels come by here, don't make a sound. And Thomas and Lady went to sleep. While Thomas and Lady were resting in the siding, Diesel arrived at the quarry. He didn't see Thomas or Lady. Hmm. Well, Diesel 10's not going to be happy when he hears that me, Ari, and Bert couldn't find Thomas or Lady. And he oiled away to tell Diesel 10. At Nafford Station, Diesel 10 was furious when Diesel, Ari, and Bert told him they couldn't find Thomas or Lady. Diesel 10's claw crunched. <coughs> he was cross. Ah, grease and oil! You haven't found Thomas or Lady yet? Ah! We tried our best, Diesel 10, but Thomas and Lady are hiding good. Very good. Too good. All my years of saying steamies are out of date, guess I was DON'T SAY IT, Diesel! Diesel 10 crashed his claw. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, my fellow Diesels. We'll find Thomas and Lady eventually. Now keep patrolling the tracks. And meet me at the Diesel Works when you're done. Yes, Diesel 10. Yes, Diesel 10. We'll do Diesel 10 right away. You better watch out, Thomas and Lady. Because we will catch you. A little while later, Thomas and Lady woke from their nap, and so did their drivers and firemen. They soon lit Thomas and Lady's fires. Then, they puffed away. Now, remember, Lady, if we see any diesels, we must duck and hide. Okay, Thomas. And Thomas and Lady puffed away. Quickly. For the rest of the night, Thomas and Lady had to duck and weave wherever they can. Whenever they saw Diesel, Ari, and Bert, or Diesel 10 coming down the track, they had to hide so they wouldn't get caught. Thomas and Lady 
puffed out of their berths at Tidmouth Sheds. Huh, <sighs> that was close, lady. Come on, we better go check on the others. Right behind you, Thomas. As always. But then, Lady was starting to get a little worried. Thomas, I think we should start making a plan of how to end this. Diesel 10 and the Diesels have gone too far. We really have to stop them. You're right, lady. Hmm. Then Thomas remembered what Emily said about the Fenland Bridge earlier. While I was crossing the Fenland Bridge, it was making creaking noises. So be careful, Thomas and lady. Then an idea flew into Thomas's funnel. I know just what to do, lady. Follow me to the yard. <laughs> lady was surprised, but she did what Thomas said and she followed him to the yard. Thomas and Lady arrived back at Nafford Yards. The other engines were happy to see them. Oh, Thomas, are you okay? We heard you yelling for help all the way from here to the yards. Thomas blushed. Yes, I I'm okay, Henry. I almost went off a cliff, but I'm okay now. Lady saved me. Then, <laughs> Lady blushed. How did you manage to hide from the diesels, Thomas and Lady? I'm afraid that we don't have time to explain, Emily. The Diesels could show up any minute to check on all of you. Yeah, but long story short, we found the coal and diesel fuel. We're going to collect it after we stop the Diesels. Well, how are you going to stop the Diesels? Gordon's right. How are you going to stop the Diesels? Yar, it's impossible. Very impossible. Very, very impossible. Very, very, very impossible. Very, 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 very... Okay, guys, guys, guys. Guys, we get it. It may be impossible to you, but it's not impossible to me and Lady. I have a plan to end all of this. Now, so Top and Hat will be back after the weekend. It's nighttime now, so tomorrow is Saturday. So? So? Lady and I are going to make the Diesels chase us. But what happens if they capture us? You. I mean you. I mean, they already captured us, but you. You. Well, Gordon. We're going to make the Diesels crash. Huh? What Den means is, what do you mean make them crash? I'm glad you asked, Dart and Den. Now, we're going to make each of the Diesels crash, one by one. Starting with Ari and Bert, then Diesel, then Diesel 10 will be the last. But Diesel 10's a more powerful and stronger engine than... You and Lady Thomas, how are you going to make him crash? Remember long ago when Diesel 10 fell off the viaduct when it collapsed, James? Yes. Well, what does that have to do with it? Well, the Finland Bridge is going to collapse any day. So, it can hold the weight of me and Lady. Well, kind of. I don't know if it can. But I can't hold the weight of Diesel 10. I mean, back when Spencer almost tried to scrap Hero when I was racing him to here to Napford Station, when we crossed the Fenland Bridge, the track broke and he slithered into the muddy muck. Or marsh, I should say. Gordon was starting to get what Thomas was saying. 
That's a good plan, Thomas. Then, Gordon heard some diesel purring in the distance. Uh-oh, Thomas, lady, you better leave. I think I hear Diesel, Harry, and Bert coming. You're right, Gordon. There's no time to do the plan tonight. Come on, lady, we'll spend the night somewhere. Let's go back to the quarry and spend the night. The Diesels won't find us there. Come on, let's go. And Thomas and Lady raced away. Good luck, Thomas and Lady. Thomas and Lady, rats. We missed them. Uh, we better go tell Diesel 10. All right, lady. Tomorrow, we will wake up at midnight. Midnight? Yes, midnight. I have a feeling the Diesels will be up all night looking for us. And they won't rest until they find us. So, we're going to stay here all night and wake up tomorrow at 12. At midnight. Straight. Whatever you say, Thomas. Let's do this, lady, for our friends and the island of Sodor. And the island of Sodor! Thomas and Lady were the heroes of Sodor. So together they went to sleep, determined to save the island. For Sodor and their friends, and especially the passengers, and Sir Topham Hatt. We never let a friend down, and everybody's counting on us now. Whistles blow, we stand together as a team. Whistles blow, and we can do most anything. What makes a hero is the strength to be a friend. Best friends forever, staying brave until the end. So if the wind is blowing howl, and, howl, and Diesel 10 starts to growl, whistles blow. Whistles blow, steady on and here we go. What makes a hero is the strength to be a friend. Best friends forever, staying brave until the end. What makes a hero is the strength to be a friend Best friends forever Staying brave until the end Steam Team Forever Early the next morning At 12 a.m. midnight Thomas and Lady have awoken. Their drivers and firemen started their fire. And they were ready to go and stop the diesels. Thomas and Lady's coal bunkers were nearly empty. But luckily... Thomas remembered the coal cars they found that the diesels had hid. And their drivers and firemen picked up scoops of coal and filled their bunkers. Thomas and Lady pumped their pistons and they puffed out of the quarry. Preparing 
to stop the diesels. Thomas and Lady clickety clacked along the tracks. They puffed through Nafford Station and passed the other engines. The other engines cheered as they went past. Good luck, Thomas and Lady! Be careful, Thomas and Lady. Be careful! At the diesel works, Diesel, Ari, and Bert, and Diesel 10 were tired. They had been looking for Thomas and Lady all night, and they were exhausted. But Diesel 10 was furious. What do you mean you haven't found them yet? We will not rest until we capture Thomas and Lady. Diesel, Ari, and Bert were very tired, and they were starting to think this was a bad idea. But they didn't want to tell Diesel 10, because they knew Diesel 10 was serious and scary. And Diesel 10 was scary and serious. Ah, Sorry, Diesel 10. Ah, But I can't oil around the island anymore. Any more. Any, any, any more. Ah, grease and oil, no excuses. Diesel 10 raised his claw. He was cross. And before he could crash his claw again, Hey, Diesel 10, Diesel, Ari, and Bert, over here. Huh? 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 There was Thomas and Lady ready to... to start their plan. Ah, Thomas and Lady, ah. So kind of you to finally show yourself. Now I'll capture you, take away your call, and uh oh yeah scrap you scrap you that's right scrap you lost your words cat got your tongue diesel 10 ah, well if you want to capture us diesel 10 you and the other diesels have to catch us what catch us as in chase us oh Head start, Lady. On it, Thomas. And Lady and Thomas hopped away. <sighs> Leaving Diesel 10 cross. So you little engines, silly steamies, want to play games, huh? <sighs> Diesel! Ari and Bert! Get them! Ah, like I said before, who needs splodge? And just like that, the chase was on. First we'll... Make diesel derail, lady. Remember that old track where I almost fell off the cliff? We'll make diesel fall off the cliff. Great idea, Thomas. Thomas, lady, and the diesels race down the track. The track to the old line where Thomas almost fell off the cliff loomed ahead. Thomas knew exactly what to do. So just like before, and just like that, the signalman heard Thomas and Lady 
They switch Thomas and Lady onto the straight track. Ching! Switch Diesel onto the old slippery track that led towards the cliff where Thomas almost went off. Then, he switched Ari, Bert, and Diesel 10 onto the straight track, too. Diesel, Ari, and Bert were surprised. And so is Diesel. Wait, why am I on? Why am I on? Why am I on this track? See you later, Diesel. Pick you up when, when you derail. Diesel 10 was cross. Ah! Derail? What do you mean by... Then, Diesel's wheels started to slip on the leaf, leaves on the track, just like Thomas. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh no, someone, ah, help, scream! Ah! 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 Luckily, Diesel stopped by an old track where Thomas and Lady can pick him up later. Diesel came off the rails and slid down a hill. Now his axles were broken after hitting a couple rocks. And he was muddy from, from top to bottom. Ah! One diesel down, three to go. Next, we'll deal with Ari and Bert. Well, luckily we're coming to the quarry, Thomas. And I know just how to crash them. Ah, uh, after them, Ari and Bert! We're trying, boss. We're trying. But they're pretty fast for puffballs, I know. The cattlecade were almost to the junction to the quarry. And this time, instead of whistle, Thomas and Lady yelled to the signalman, Point! And the signalman switched Ari and Bert to the quarry. And Diesel 10 after Thomas and Lady. Ah, grease and oil, bother those signalmen. Diesel 10 was cross. Ah. Hey, what's going on? I don't know. Where switched onto the quarry? Ari, look out! Huh? Ah! Scream! Ari! Bert was so focused on his brother, he wasn't watching where he was going. Bert was switched into a siding, and he hit the buffers, and came off the rails. Whoa! Ah, Thomas and Lady! Diesel was down, Ari and Bert were down, now Thomas and Lady had to defeat Diesel 10, because he was the only last Diesel to defeat. 
You're outnumbered now, Diesel 10. Ah, uh, y'all pay for what you did to my helpers, Thomas and Lady. Whoa! Oh, almost out of the frying pan into the fire. Go, Lady, go! I'm going, Thomas, I'm going. But what's the rest of the plan? Uh, I don't know. Make Diesel 10 derail at the Fenland Bridge. We're almost there. But Thomas, what if the Fenland Bridge can't hold our weight? I'm sure it will, Emily. We'll go slow. <sighs> now Thomas, Lady, and Diesel 10 had the race of their lives. Themselves. Thomas and Lady race through stations. And they raced round bends. Diesel 10 tried his best, but he still couldn't get in front of Thomas and Lady. Thomas and Lady had been running around all night. They were tired, but they couldn't stop. They had to defeat the evil Diesel 10. We're coming up to the Fenland Bridge, Thomas. And Emily's right. It looks like it's starting to collapse. And Lady was right, but Thomas was wrong. The Fenland Bridge was starting to collapse, and it couldn't hold the weight of engines going fast. And Thomas and Lady and Diesel 10 were going very fast. Thomas and Lady knew they had to slow down. Or else the bridge would collapse with them on it. Thomas, if we don't make it across, this is both our shining time. Thomas sighed. Then he turned stern. Come on, lady. We're not giving up. Little engines can do big things. I told you this a hundred times. Lady was right. And he and Thomas puffed onto the Fenland Bridge. The bridge started to creak. Some of the beams were starting to snap. Lady applied her brakes and slowed down. And she got across safely. Thomas slowed down. He heard the bridge creaking and he knew he had to hurry. And with the bravest effort, Thomas made it across the bridge just in time. And the bridge snapped and collapsed. And the foundation of the bridge sank in the muddy marsh. Lady was relieved. She whistled to Thomas. Well done, Thomas! Well done! Lady whistled loud and proud. <coughs> Thomas was proud too. He whistled back to Lady. <coughs> but Diesel 10 didn't know the bridge collapse. He was going so fast. He didn't see the bridge until it was too late. <gasps> oh no, not again! Oh no, no, please, not again! Screech! Diesel 10 slammed on his brakes and tried to stop. 
but he couldn't. No, no, please, someone help! Ah, ah! Diesel 10's wheels slipped and skidded. He tried to back up. But it was no use. Ah, Thomas! Lady! Help! But Diesel 10's wheels slipped. And he fell into the muddy marsh. Cannonball! Ugh! And with a mighty splash. Diesel 10 came off the track. He was now in the muddy marsh. He was covered in mud. His generator was ruined because of the water and mud. So he couldn't raise his claw. Diesel 10 was crossed. Thomas and Lady had foiled his plan. Ah! No! No! This is not how it's supposed to end! No! <laughs> Thomas and Lady thought it was very funny. <laughs> well, I guess villains like Diesel 10 deserve what they get. Your actions always find a way to come back to you, Diesel 10. Come on, lady. Let's go help our friends now that we found the coal and diesel fuel. But what about the diesels? We'll get Rocky and take them to the diesel works. They're badly damaged and they probably need some major repairs. See you later, Diesel 10. And Thomas and Lady puffed away. No, Thomas, Lady, come back. I'll be good. Please, just help me. Please. But it was too late. Thomas and Lady were gone. Back at the yards, Thomas and Lady told their friends what they did about stopping Diesel 10 and the other Diesels. And now the Island of Soda were saved. And saved. We know where the diesels hid the coal and fuel. We'll go and get it. Congratulations, Thomas and Lady. We're so proud of you, Thomas and Lady. Very proud. Very proud indeed, me hearties. Cut the very proud thing, guys. <laughs> okay. Come on, lady. We have a lot to do. And Thomas and lady puffed away. First, they went to the quarry and put the coal cars and fuel cars back on the rails. Then Thomas and lady brought the diesel fuel and the coal that Diesel 10 and the diesels took and all their friends were full of coal, full of fuel, and ready to get back to work. I have a feeling the passengers have been worried sick, and Sir Totten Hat will be cross when he comes back. Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Has it been three days already? Yes, Thomas. Remember, Sir Totten Hat said he'll be back after the weekend. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow's Sunday. That's when the weekend ends. Well, Lady and I better bring the diesels who took over the railway to the diesel works. Everyone carry on uh, on their work. Dead and Dart, see what the diesel works. Diesel, Ari, and Bert, and Diesel 10 might need some major repairs. Okie dokie. 
What he means is... No problem, Thomas. And the engine started to puff back to work. Emily, I'm sorry for being rude the other day. That's okay, Thomas. Come on, lady. Let's go and get the diesels to the diesel works. Soon enough, Thomas and Lady collected Rocky from the Sodor Search and Rescue Center. First, they rescued Diesel. Then, they rescued Ari and Bert. Ari and Bert didn't say thank you. They didn't deserve being rescued after they helped Diesel 10. But Thomas and Lady didn't mind. And finally, Lady and Thomas helped Diesel 10. Diesel 10 really needed immediate repairs. He was still so cross, he didn't say thank you to Thomas and Lady. But once again, Thomas and Lady didn't mind. Lady was proud of Thomas. And Thomas, he knew he had been a really useful engine. He stopped Diesel 10 and the Diesels from taking over the railway. Lady was proud of her boyfriend. Because Thomas is a really useful engine. Always will and always will be. He's a really useful engine, you know. All the other engines, they'll tell you so. He hops and bumps and whistles. Rushing to and fro, he's the really useful engine we adore. He's the one, he's the one, he's the really useful engine that we adore. He's the one, he's the number one, Thomas the Tank Engine. He's a really useful engine. Lady and Thomas took the diesel to the diesel works. Den and Dart were in the sidings with Ari and Bert, keeping an eye on them. But the diesels were in bad shape. Diesel hit some rocks when he slid down that hill when he went off the cliff. Ari and Bert were badly damaged after hitting those 
fuel cars, coal cars, and the buffers. But Diesel 10 needed major repairs, indeed. Like I said, Diesel 10's generator was badly damaged from the mud and water. And he couldn't lift his claw. The diesels were all crossed that their plan were foiled. But Diesel 10 was crossed most of all. He tried to be greedy. And he still tried to be evil. Sodor is still ours now! But Thomas and Lady didn't buy it. Lady was brave and Thomas was stern. No, the island of Sodor is ours again. Diesel 10 was cross. We know you want the island of Sodor for revenge, Diesel 10. But taking it was not right. Just like taking the steamworks wasn't right. And you dragged Diesel, Ari, and Bert to help you. But we helped you even though you were bad. You imprisoned our friends in the yard. Good thing Sir Topham Hack comes back tomorrow. You're, he's going to get a, give you a mouthful from himself. We're going to keep an eye on you all night. And make sure you don't plan anything else evil. The diesel works was quiet. No engine puffed and no engine moved. Den and Dark didn't move. Thomas and Lady didn't move. And the diesels couldn't move. Thomas and Lady watched the diesels all night and into the next day. And Thomas was right. The next day was the day Sir Tom Hatt did come back. Thomas and Lady were once again tired. They were up all night, two nights in a row. But they couldn't rest. Sir Totten Hat comes home soon. Gordon, I told Gordon to tell everything you diesels did. And he's on his way to yell at you for sure. Ha, huh, I doubt it. Quiet, Diesel. <sighs> Oh, stop the growling, Diesel 10. Yeah, what Thomas said. <laughs> Just then, Sir Topham had arrived. He was cross. Diesel 10! What have you been doing? I, I, um, I, 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 um. You, Diesel 10! You are an engine on my railway! I have told you that before! And I, you also remember... I told you that you will do as I say when I say it. Do you understand? Diesel 10 whimpered and went to a deep shade of red. You have caused confusion and delay. You imprisoned my engines in the yard. There were crates stacked up at the docks. The express was behind schedule. Because of you, none of my engines have been really useful. And they haven't done their job.
None of them arrived! I've had enough with you, Diesel 10! When you're repaired, for your punishment, you will work at the smelter's yard. Collecting scrap. However, I will not remove your claw. You will keep your claw. I never want you to take over my railway again! Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Then, Sir Topham Hatt turned to Diesel, Ari, and Bert. Diesel, Ari, and Bert, I am not proud of you for helping Diesel 10 take over my railway. Therefore, you will also be punished. Ari and Bert, you will take rubbish to Whiff's Waste Dump for two entire months. Yes, sir. And Diesel, you will help on the repairs of the Fenland Bridge. But, sir, uh, yes, sir. We're sorry, sir. Then, Sir Topham Hatt turned his head, his attention, to Thomas and Lady. I'm sorry, sir. I promised you that I'd take care of being in charge of the railway, and the diesels took over it, and Thomas... I apologize for interrupting, but I'm proud of you. But, sir, I yelled at my friends and tried to convince them to be in charge, and Thomas. You tried to convince your friends to be in charge, but then you said, fine, you will be in charge. I am proud of you for not breaking your promise. But, sir, I wasn't in charge at all. I just told the engine to do their normal jobs once me and Lady took the... I'm going to stop there because I don't want to say too much. That's a good idea, Thomas. I am very proud of both of you and Lady for stopping the diesels, Thomas. And for stopping Diesel 10. You and Lady did the right thing, Thomas, to stop Diesel 10 and the diesels and took back my railway. You are a really useful engine. You both are. But you, Thomas, you are the most really useful engine. And you're, you'll always be my number one engine. Thomas was so proud, he thought his boiler would burst. Thank you, sir. Now let's get back to work. Let's keep this railway running. I bet the passengers have some complaints about the diesels taking over the railway and, well, I better get back to work in my office. And we better get back to our jobs, Thomas, since the other engines are back to theirs. Well, carry on, Thomas and Lady. Good day, and congratulations. Goodbye, sir. And I hope you diesels will enjoy your punishments. And this time, Diesel 10, Ari, Bert, and Diesel all went to Deep Shade of Red. As Sir Topham Hatt walked away. Thomas and Lady laughed. <laughs> well, that takes care of that, Lady. Come on, we better get back to our jobs. I bet Annie and Clarabelle misses me. Let's get this railway running again.
Right behind you like always, Thomas. So long, Diesel Larry and Burton Diesel 10. Most of all you, Diesel 10. See you at Christmas, Diesel 10. Hope you'll love your punishment. Ha 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 ha. These and Thomas and Lady puffed away. But Diesel 10 was very cross than he was before. He was so cross, he went red in the face and yelled, ah, Fie on you, Thomas and Lady! And fie on all you silly Stevies too! <laughs> the next day, all the engines and the railway were back to the way it was before. The engines continued to carry on with their work, determined to improve Sir Top to impress Sir Topham Hatt. Thomas was back working on his branch line. He was so happy. Lady puffed up beside him. Annie and Clarabel had heard that Thomas and Lady saved the railway, and they were proud of Thomas. And Lady, too. Oh, Thomas, you are a hero. So is Lady. We make a perfect team, lady. We sure do, Thomas. I wonder if Diesel 10 will take over the railway again. I guess we'll never know. They're still being repa repaired, I bet. But even if they take over the railway... We'll stop them. Thomas and Lady looked at each other. And Thomas was right. <laughs> Thomas still wanted to be the leader of the track. But he and his friends are all leaders of the track. Including him and Lady. And they couldn't felt happier, but Thomas most of all. And Thomas and Lady really did make a perfect team together. And they knew that. And so do you.
think it never ends James and Percy Huff and Puff And Emily, she knows her stuff Henry, Edward, what a pair From Toby, like I say, he's square Gordon thunders down the line Everyone's a friend of mine Starts to growl. Whistles blow. We'll never have to stand alone. Whistles blow. Steady on, here we go. What makes a hero is the strength to be a friend. Best friends forever. Staying brave until the end. What makes a hero is the strength to be a friend. Best friends forever, staying brave until the end. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
くず。ああ。ディーゼル・アリアン・バッド、This is all your fault! All of it! Hey, don't put the blame on us, Diesel 10! Yeah! Thomas and Lady spoiled our plan! Foiled! It's foiled! You! Ah, no matter. Whatever. I will take over the railway again. This railway will be mine once again. I'll be back, silly steamies. I'll be back! Hmm.